Today we are covering designing Microsoft Azure infrastructure solutions. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Question is, you have an Azure subscription that contains the resources shown in the following table. You create an Azure SQL database named DB1 that is hosted in the East US region. To DB1, you add a diagnostic setting named Settings1. Settings1 archives SQL Insight to Storage1 and sends SQL Insights to Workspace1. For each of the following statements, select Yes if the statement is true. Otherwise, select no. First statement. You can add a new diagnostic setting that archives SQL insight logs to storage 2. Options are yes or no. We will see the answers further. Second statement is you can add a new diagnostic setting that sends SQL insights logs to workspace 2. Options are yes or no. Third statement is you can add a new diagnostic setting that sends SQL Insights logs to Hub 1. Options are yes or no. Correct answer for the first statement is yes. Correct answer for the second statement is yes. And correct answer for the third statement is also yes. Next question is, your on-premises network contains a file server named server1 that stores 500 GB of data. You need to use Azure Data Factory to copy the data from server1 to Azure Storage. You add a new data factory. What should you do next? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. This is the answer area. And this is the correct answer. Next question is, you have an Azure Wave app named App1 and an Azure Key Vault named KV1. App1 stores database connection strings in KV1. App1 performs the following types of requests to KV1. First, get. Second, list. Third, wrap. Fourth, delete. Fifth, unwrap. Sixth, backup. Seventh, decrypt. Eighth, encrypt. You are evaluating the continuity of service for App1. You need to identify the following if the Azure region that hosts KB1 becomes unavailable. First, to where will KB1 fail over? Second, during the failover, which request type will be unavailable? What should you identify? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Now see the answer area. And this is the correct answer. Next question is, you plan to develop a new app that will store 
business critical data. The app must meet the following requirements. First, prevent new data from being modified for one year. Second, maximize data resiliency. Third, minimize read latency. What storage solution should you recommend for the app? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. This is the correct answer.